Hey there, I'm gonna show you how to create this Mayfair Witches inspired title card in After Effects. Let's get started. My name is Cameron, and before we get started today, I wanna to invite you to watch my complimentary workshop over at motionscience.tv slash workshop, where I'll show you seven of my cinematic tips and tricks in motion design. This is a free 30 minute workshop Visit motionscience.tv slash workshop. After watching this video, you will not regret it. Have you seen the title sequence for Mayfair Witches by Elastic? If not, go check it out. It's amazing. This title sequence inspired me to recreate a scene. So let's talk about how to make it in After Effects. To start off, we will search for an interesting background image. After finding one online and importing it into After Effects, we will position and scale the background image until we settle on an interesting frame. Next, we will add the CC toner effect to give the image a blue and green look. We do this by adjusting the highlights and the midtones. Then we will click right here to make the layer 3D. The next step is add a 3D camera. I tend to mostly use one node cameras because of ease of use. With the camera selected, we will add two keyframes to give the camera movement. We want a simple camera move where we push into the frame. Now we need to make our background image look more distressed, so we search for a cracked paint texture online. Once imported into After Effects, we tick the 3D box, position and scale the image to our liking, and change the mode to multiply so that the cracked paint texture blends with the background image. We will also add a black and white effect to remove any color from the image and add a levels effect. To the levels effect, we will adjust the black and gray value sliders to make the paint cracks have a stronger presence in the composite. The composite needs more florals at this point, so we will do a quick search for those. Download and import into After Effects, tick the 3D box, create a quick mask to isolate the flowers, position and scale the flower image using the rule thirds, change the mode to multiply, and again add the black and white effect to remove any color and add the levels effect to make the floral arrangement darker in the composite. To give the composite more movement, we can add an animated cracking effect. We go to Action VFX and download an overhead ground crack 3D render. We import this in After Effects, tick the 3D box, position, rotate, and scale the render, change the mode to hard light, and again, we add the black and white and levels effects. Same principles as before. We need to add some picture frames to to the composite, so we search these out online, download them, and import them into Photoshop. In Photoshop, we remove the white background so that the picture frames have transparency or alpha channels within them. We import the Photoshop files into After Effects and we drag each image onto the composition icon in the project window to create individual picture frame pre-comps. Right now, the picture frames look quite different from each other and we want them to look similar in color. So to do this, we use CC toner on one picture frame and sample the highlights and midtones of the other picture frame. Now we have similar color tones between the two picture frames and they look great. Over in Mid Journey, we generate two vintage witch portraits and import them into After Effects as well. Each portrait image is brought into a picture frame pre-comp and placed under the picture frame. Then using the mask tool, we remove the unwanted edges of the witch portrait images. Back in the main composition, we position and scale the two picture frames using the rule of thirds so that they sit nicely in the comp. We tick the 3D box for each picture frame and tick cast shadows in the material options. The picture frames are also positioned about 30 pixels forward in Z space to separate them from the background layers. Next, we add a point light and adjust the shadow darkness and diffusion. With the point light in the comp, we will position it close to the elements in Z space so that it only illuminates a small section of the comp and creates intrigue. We then animate the position of the point with two keyframes. The point light will start left and then move right. We need a little more light in the scene to brighten things up, so we will add an ambient light with an intensity of 30%. Next, we duplicate the picture frames. We set the duplicate layer modes to screen and turn off cast shadows for these duplicate layers. We then draw a mask with a high feather amount on the right side of the lower picture frame and on the bottom edge of the upper picture frame. We then animate these masks to simulate specular light being illuminated from the moving point light. We will add a quick name super, we'll tick the 3D checkbox and position the name super slightly forward in Z space. We tick cast shadows and tint the type so that it isn't pure white, but instead matches the white values of the comp. We also add fast box blur with a very low value to slightly soften the type. To finish the scene, we can do one of two things. We can add a black solid layer to the top of the layer stack, draw a mask, invert the mask, and input a high feather value to create a nice vignette. Or we can go a completely different route and turn off the vignette layer, 
Add a new adjustment layer to the top layer stack and to this layer, apply one of my favorite plugins from Boris FX Sapphire called Film Effect. And there you have it. That's how I would recreate a scene from the Mayfair Witch's title sequence. If you enjoy the video, please hit that like button and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more content just like this. I would love to hear your thoughts in the video, so please leave a comment or question below. As always, thank you for watching and I look forward to connecting with you in my next video.